Okay, let's be honest. If you ask this question to marry one of BTS members, that would be not happened. They will not be Muslims and they will not marry you. Assalamu alaikum, 안녕하세요, Dao Do Kim입니다. Today, I'm going to talk about how to make BTS Muslims. You can think like, oh, that's hilarious. But actually, I got a lot of DMs and messages about this topic. This is not a joke. I'm serious. There are tons of DMs like this. So I considered about this seriously. How to make BTS Muslims. How? Da -da. The first way, go to BTS and teach them about Islam. The direct da'wah. But let's see. If I go to BTS and say, Oh, Jimin, I'm your super fan. I love your music, I love your dancing, and I love your albums. You're so handsome and cute, and I love your voice, blah, blah, blah. But you should be a Muslim. It's a bit weird, isn't it? And above all, there is no way to meet BTS. How can I meet these superstars? If there is a such a way, I want to know myself. <laughs> My own self. You should know I'm army too. Second way, get BTS married Muslim women. Wow. Fantastic plan. Such a smart way. You know, Muslim usually marry Muslim. So if BTS member marry Muslim women, they can be Muslims. Yeah, that's possible. please marry me. Please marry me. But let's see again. Let's imagine if I go BTS and say, Hey Jimin, inshallah, you're going to marry a beautiful and kind Muslim woman. This is your destiny. This is plan of Allah. Yeah, it's weird. So then how can we make BTS Muslims? Okay. Let's be honest. If you ask this question to marry one of BTS members, that would be not happened. They will not be Muslims and they will not marry you. Okay, I will a little bit change my word. Maybe they can be Muslims inshallah, but they will not be a Muslim to marry you. Never. I'm, I'm so sorry, but that's reality. Of course, who knows? Allah is grateful and merciful. Inshallah, everything is possible. But you should know that that is not easy. From a Muslim's point of view, if they become Muslims, every world welcome and embrace them. You can think like this. But the reality is different. Of course, Korea has a religious freedom, but at the same time, Korea is very exclusive to people who have religion. Especially as you know, Islam is not welcoming religion in Korea, not yet, unfortunately. So I don't think they will make a public decision to make disappoint of millions of their fans. This can give them a huge social disadvantages. So unfortunately, it's not easy. But actually, there is a real reason I talked about this topic today. It's about Dawah to non-Muslim. Because many foreign Muslims told me that uh, Can you make my Korean friends Muslims? Because you're Korean and you know about Islamic knowledge So can you do it please? Especially Can you make my Korean boyfriend Muslim? Yeah, seriously But actually I really understand their intentions And I really understand that how much they want to make their friends to Islam But however, Koreans are too different in culture way And it's not easy to break the negative thoughts against Islam created by the media. So to make da'wah to Korean non-Muslims, we should be very careful and also need different approaches. Then I will tell you the best da'wah I think. I think the most effective and easiest way to make someone else Muslims is to be a good Muslim by yourself. Maybe you can say, what the heck? How can that be a da'wah? But you know what? The reason I became a Muslim is because I met good Muslims. When I saw their full happiness, I thought about the purpose of my life. And eventually I realized that the purpose of my life is to follow Allah SWT. SubhanAllah. Of course, I still make so many mistakes and I'm not perfect Muslim, but Alhamdulillah, I'm proud of that I'm being a Muslim. But what if I met bad Muslims? If my Muslim friends always lying, saying bad words, hating people and gossip people, would I have thought be a Muslim, isn't it? I think I didn't want to be a Muslim. If I'm not a good Muslim, how can I invite others to Islam? And I want to tell you one more thing. Of course, every Muslim should spread messages of Allah. That is obligation written in Quran. But that doesn't mean that you should be sad because you have not made them Muslims. Because everything is Allah's will, not our wills. If Allah wants, they will accept Allah's messages. If not, they will ignore it. So we don't have to be angry or sad because they didn't accept Islam. Because everything is will of Allah. It's plan of Allah. 
The Holy Quran said, You do not guide whom you like, but Allah guides whom He wills, and He is the most knowing of rightly guided. Even Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, couldn't make his uncle Abu Talib a Muslim. Of course, we should try hard, but everything is depends on Allah. If Allah wants to BTS Muslims, it will, inshallah. And as an army, I really hope so too. But we don't need to be too obsessed with this because it's Allah's will, not ours. Okay, so that's my conclusion. And I hope we always remember that being a good Muslim for a good dawah. Then thank you for watching my video. Take care and be safe. Alhamdulillah. Masalama. Kamsahamida. Annyeong. All glory be to you. I'm bending on my knees. I'm asking you to help me. Help me. I'm asking you to save me, my Lord, please help me Can you set me free? I can't take this heat